Hello. Today I'm going to elucidate about the poem Mother or I by Jyoti Nanjivar. Dalit poetry is one forceful source of Dalit consciousness that expresses the essence of living life of Dalits, their emotions and experiences. Jyoti Lanjewar is a name which needs no introduction in the field of not only Dalit poetry, but also the Indian English literature in general. It is said that Jyoti Lanjewar's poetry speaks of such diverse themes as womanhood, motherhood, friendship, honest commitment, human values, and love. Her poetry punctures the status quo forces, entails dauntless passion, wisdom, and rare intensity that dismantles stereotypes to render candidly the lived and shared women experiences intersecting gender, also caste and caste within. The sharp rhetoric of Jyoti Nanjivar is a result of her sensitive mind. She cannot bear the atrocities in the name of caste, class, and patriarchy. Her poetry is a saga of Dalitness. She is cautious about the poverty, subservience, marginality, hunger of Dalit families. The men and women tirelessly struggle to survive. By pinching the stomach and pricking at the heart, they live the life of cattle. The young generation does not fail to observe their struggle and acknowledge the suffering to the oppressive social structure. In the poem, Mother, a child is seen conscious about the suffering of her mother and her struggle to survive or to lead her family. A Dalit mother is an authentic representation of universal motherhood of the underprivileged section. The mother, though in desperate need of money, tries to bring happiness in her child's life by sparing a coin for him. To ward off their distress, she wishes another ambaker to emerge from her offspring. She exemplifies sacrifice, remains unfed while feeding the family. On the one hand, she has to cope with personal struggle. She takes part in collective ones on the other. Her endeavor transcends from the personal to the universal. She takes pride in her son's heroism subsequent to the idealist struggle. She retains a revolutionary spirit to dedicate more sons to the cause of the untouchables. Her death is an inspiration for her sons to participate in the Dalit movement that seeks their liberation and freedom. Gold border sari, gold necklace, and other accessories are never meant for Dalit mothers, not even in her dream. Her actual need is far more appalling. She is denied her femininity as she is put to toil hard amongst a group of laborers. She is just one of the workers on a roadside, putting her little child aside in a cradle on an acacia tree. She joins with the laborers. The mother's labor continues. She carries loads of soil on her head, but she is never oblivious of her affectionate kiss to the naked child. The hard situation has killed her womanness, her motherhood, her tender senses, and her delicacy. She, being both a Dalit and a woman, is distinct to be underprivileged. She is aloof from any safeguards from the family, and the society at large. She suppressed every exertion and keeps each torment secret while making herself busy in building a dam on the lake. In the hope of creating her own space, her own house, the mother carries a load of building material. She does not dismiss herself from the work till evening until every part of her body gets exhausted. She represents a helping hand in the country's development, but paradoxically, she remains undeveloped, backward, and underprivileged. The darkness in her life is unfathomable. The poem throws light upon women's aspiration, her optimism on one side, and the materialization on the other. Each of the lines contains ex exaggeration to designate that women's dreams aspirations, potentiality, individuality, and identity are ravished.
The noted critic, Dr. S. B. Joshi, commented on the poem as, she has contributed a treaty on the image of working class marginalized Indian women along with her poetry. No one can forget the immortal poem. Thank you.